Hello, I'm Richard from Tyne Valley Aquatics and in this video I'm going to show you very quickly, although it may take a long time, what we've got in stock at the moment. The date is the 23rd of August 2013 and hopefully this will be the first of many stock videos where I'll just fly around the tanks and show you what we have in at the present time. I would just like to thank everybody who voted for us last year in the Practical Fish Keeping Readers poll. It's leaving it quite late, but I would really appreciate it if you could vote for us again this year. I think it closes at the end of this month, so you've really only got about a week. But if you get that magazine, get that form sent off, Time Valley Aquatics written in wherever you want us to be, and that would be very much appreciated. Thanks. Right, starting in tank one, we've got some big white cloud mountain minnows. We've got some pinstripe Hong Kong plex. Uh, there's also some spotted Hong Kong plex as well. Tank two, we've got some rainbow shiners, which is another cold water fish. First time we've had these lads in. Tank three, we've got some large long fin white cloud mountain minnows. They're quite an attractive fish, very fat because I've just fed them. Ah, there's a pinstripe one. In Tank number three, they've obviously been spreading themselves around. That's a pinstripe Hong Kong plek. Tank four, we've got a few black chin live bearers. Although I think these are mostly females that are left. And there's a few bamboo shrimps in there as well. There's one just feeding there. And there's also a few armored shrimps. They're also feeding. Tank five has some gold white cloud mountain minnows. And there's some cherry shrimps in here somewhere as well. There we are, they're quite small, I haven't coloured up yet. In tank number six, we've got some red crystal shrimps. They're a dwarf variety of algae eating shrimp. They're quite a nice grade this week. Tank number seven, we've got some wild green neons and also some orange shrimp. In tank number eight, there's some dwarf fire shrimp. There's also a few Amano shrimp as well. Yep, there's a few blue tetras. That's Koku or Koshu Blue Tetra. In tank number nine, we've got some Venus Guppies, also known as Blonde Endlers. And there's also some more Amano Shrimps. Tank number 10, we've got some quite nice Rathbun's Bloodfin Tetra. Let's see if I can get a close up on that, because they're, they're an attractive Tetra. And there's also a nation of striped coolie loaches as well. In tank 11 we've got some large long fin zebra danios and another army of striped coolie loach. In number 12 we've got some black bar endlers and there's a fighter in there as well, that's a crown tail fighter. In number 13 we've got some harlequin rasboras. In tank 14 we've got another sort of rasbora, this one's rasbora spi and there's another male fighter there. In tank 15 we've got a few red chest endlers and a nation of Amano shrimp. And in number 16 we've got some clown killifish and also some mosquito rasbora. That wasn't very good planning because separating these two when you're trying to catch them is not very good. In tank 17 we've got some rummy nose tetra and these are really bright. A lot of the Newcastle fans buy these because they've got black and white stripes on the tail. In 18, we've got some dwarf pencil fish, and there's also a Barbus fasciolatus in there as well, but they're hiding behind the wood. In 19, we've got some sparkling pygmy gouramis. Tank number 20, we've got mixed small fancy goldfish. Tank 21, we've got mixed large fancy goldfish. In tank 22, we've got cherry barbs. Tank 23 is empty at the moment. Tank 24 has got some five banded sunfish. I've just realized that from tank 25 to tank 100 I've had it on standby, it hasn't been recorded. So forgive me if 25 to 100 is rushed but I'm doing this for a second time. Right here we go, 25 golden black liartail molly. 26 has got some extra large long fin neon tetras. 27 has got some female crown tail fighters. 28 has whip tail catfish. And some large leopard danios. 28 has got 
some pentazona barbs or five banded barbs. 29's got kissing gouramis. 31's got a few mixed live bearers in, I think somebody's brought into the shop. 32's got cardinal tetra and some dwarf chain loach. 33's got some large diamond head neon tetras. And I think there's a bulldog plek on the back of that uplift there. 32's got neon blue dwarf gouramis. 35's got some emperor tetras, that's the super blue variety. They develop a lovely blue colour when they get bigger. 36 has got some golden ocellatus, it's a dwarf shell dweller. 37 has got some green barbs. 38 is empty. 39 has got some mixed shibunkans and yellow goldfish. 40 has got some axolotls. 41 is empty. 42 has got more axolotls. 43 has got some Gara Rufa, they're the ones that eat all the cheese off your feet. 44 has some dwarf red gourami. 45 has large black neon tetra. 46 has got some large glow light tetra. I have smashed tank 47. 48 has some sword tails. 49's got Daniel Kayatid. Number 50 is a tank full of fish that I think somebody has brought in because there's all sorts in there. Tank 51 has got some diamond tetras. 52 has Odessa barbs. 53 is empty. 54 has some blue dwarf gouramis. 55 has blockhead cichlids. 56 has large mixed angelfish. And clown loaches. And silver shark. 57 has medium neon tetras. And quite a nice crown tail fighter there. 58 has got some pearl gouramis, they're extra large ones. 59 has got some otosynchalus, male gubbies, and assassin snails. 60 has got female gubbies. 61 has got some liberty mollies. 62 has got hopless sternum catfish, black tail red shark, blue marbled gouramis and gold gouramis. 63 has got large penguin tetra, sailfin mollies and albino curries and there's also a bristle nose plek in there. 64 has got extra large neon tetras and Siamese alga eaters. 65 has a mix of tiger barbs, there's ordinary tiger barbs, albino tiger barbs and green tiger barbs in there. 66 has extra large black ruby barbs and diamond rosy barbs. 67 has some red belly piranhas. 68 has some tiger oscars. And there's also some marble plex in there. In tank 69 we've got some large Congo tetra. And some Pakistani or yo-yo loach. Tank number 70 has mixed mollies. Tank 71 has mixed platies. Tank 72 has sword tails, Chinese algae eaters, and lemon algae eaters. Tank 73 has the rest of the sword tails. Tank 74 has some Lamprologus boulangerie, or boulangerie. Tank 75 has got some Precox blue neon rainbow fish. Tank 76 has got peppered curry and blue rams. Tank 77's got curry nanos. Tank 78 has got some Neolamprologus stapazi. It's got a few multi fasciatus versions of the Neolamprologus as well. And there's two or three other types in there. There's a female Enigmatochromus lucansi. Unfortunately, we haven't got any males of them. Tank 79 has got Neolamprologus multifasciatus, Lamprologus brachardii, and there's some Neolamprologus caudopunctatus in there as well. Tank 80 has got some large crebensis. Tank 81 has got some gold rams. And Cori napoensis. Tank 82 has got some mixed Malawi cichlids. Tank 83 is empty. 
Tank 84 has got some Bolivian rams. And there's a silver loach there as well. Tank 85 has got some tube mouth or hockey stick pencil fish. And some scribble mussels. Tank 86 has got some Nanochromus transvestitus. Tank 87 has got some Malabar killifish. Some L15 Vitata plec. And Tank 88 has got Galaxy Rasboras and some Dwarf Corries. Tank 89 has got some Electric Blue Jack Dempseys and some Discus. Tank 90 has got more Discus. Tank 91 has got more Discus and some Peruvian Ultima Angels. Tank 92 has got some Red Line Tetra. Some Corridorus Adolfi and there's also an inspector plaque in there. See it? Black and white spots on it. And it's difficult to see, but on that back wall there's an inspector plaque as well, which is black with white spots. In 93 there's a few reed tetra, some bronze corries, and also some extra large blue tetra. In 94 we've got some Cory Julii and some electric blue rams and there may be one or two red striped killifish as well. 95 we've got some more large angels, one monster angel. There's also some monster peppered curry and some extra large epistogramma Agassisi fire red. In 96 we've got an assortment of small angels. There's some Epistogramma Agassisi there as well. And there's some large Galaxy Woodcat. You can just see that one loitering under the log there. And there's some Epistogramma Agassisi. That's a large male there. Oh, and there's some Cory Sturby as well. In 97 we've got some extra large Epistogramma McMasteri. I think that's the male there just coming out from the side of the log. No, actually that's the female. There's the male hiding at the back. This is just a quick update on tank 97. I've moved the Epistogramma McMasteri out of there because we've just had a delivery of locally bred German blue rams in. And in 98 we've got some red eyed tetra few peacock goby and some huge black snails and these are called Faunus Alta although it says Atta on there, I'm sure it had an L in that last name almost to the end now and in 99 we've got some black Venezuelan curries which are very nice, very black and some more peacock gobies and last but not least, in tank number 100, we've got some extra large cardinal tetras and a load of small bristlenose that have been breeding in the other tanks. We've got some albinos and also some brown ones. Well, that's about it. Hopefully you're not too bored by that. I'm not sure exactly how long this is going to be when I edit it down, but if it's over 10 minutes, I do apologise but there's a lot of fish to get through. I've probably missed a load of plecs and curries that'll have been hiding under things as well. We do like to have wood and plants in a lot of the tanks just to give the fish a little bit more of an environment, but the downside of that is the fish can quite often hide behind the logs and in amongst the plants. So often when we're cleaning the tanks out, it's a real surprise because we've got nice species that never really come out. So hopefully you'll have seen 99% of what we've got, but there is other things as well. Any questions you've got relating to any of the stock or anything you want to order in, if you want to check any prices or you want meal order fish, UK only, please phone the shop. This is the number. That's also in the description of this video as well if you're watching on YouTube. And there's a direct link to our website in this video description. 
you ask me questions of stock and prices on YouTube, I probably won't be able to answer them or I might be very vague because I tend to pick up those emails from home and if I'm not in the shop I can't check how many of whatever it is you're after we've got and I can't check the prices and my memory is so bad I can't remember the prices of the fish that we've got especially when there's a hundred tanks full of fish so hopefully if you've stuck it out till the end you've enjoyed this I do intend to do it again and thanks for watching